Bangalore sometimes drives me crazy. I feel like scooting away to a place where there's beach, sun, nature, music, and most importantly, lip smacking food. Hold on a sec. Why to weep when we have Carnival to go up within a few feet? Yes, this restaurant has brought the beach capital of India to central Bangalore. Hello and welcome to the ninth edition of Food Trails where we take you through food destinations, best food destinations across the city of Bengaluru. And this time looks like the Goan food has travelled from all the way Goa to Bengaluru to grace us with its presence. So let's go Goa! the lookout for a nice hangout that wraps you in a Goan feel, then your hunt ends here. The beachy ambience ferries you to the beach capital Goa and so will the starter, Prawns Peri Peri. The gooey centre with crunchy outside blends nicely with the peppery Peri Peri mix but somehow the flavours do not succeed in creating that magic. I've ordered the fish thali here which comes with a variety of Goan specials like Goan fish curry which looks absolutely beautiful by the way and then kismo, basa fry, mixed vegetable and to help us with the digestion after devouring this huge fish thali super tangy coconut drink It is a staple food for all the Goans and is known as kit kori in the local language I hope I'm pronouncing it right about the texture, it's velvety smooth, seriously, proof, it vanishes once you have a bite of it. And now coming to Kismo, it acts as a perfect dry mixture with coconut base and uh, the baby prawns. The crunch of baby prawns fills all the missing gaps. And now coming to one of the stars, Basa Fry. I really miss the crispness on the surface but the smooth and soft inside compensates for it. Mm. After the meal, this comes to your rescue. You see that face? It's that tangy. After this amazing trip to Goa in Bangalore, all I can say is hats off to Carnival to Goa. I'll meet you in my next and probably in our last episode of this season. Till then, eat, sleep and repeat. With video journalist PS2, this is Samiraj Rupun for Asianet Newsable.